Since 1977, the full-size Chevrolet Caprice has had the distinction of holding a dual status. One is a popular family car, its other life as a reliable fleet car, favored especially by police departments around the country. New from Chevrolet for 1991 is not only a reshaped family-style Caprice, but the Caprice Classic LTZ. The LTZ was inspired by the police equipment package. We recently tested the LTZ, as well as another fleet Caprice with a very different purpose. Let's see how they both fared in civilian hands. A visual inspection will reveal only subtle outward differences of the specially equipped LTZ Caprice. A flush mounted badge on the hood, a polished stainless steel exhaust tip, and more important, 15 inch speed rated Eagle GT Plus 4 Blackwall tires. But it's what you can't easily see that makes the LTZ different from its siblings. The LTZ's heavy-duty stabilizer bars, springs, shocks, heavy gauge frame, and tuned body mounts all help to deliver a tighter ride and more responsive handling. The firmer steering matches the tighter suspension feel. In quick maneuvers, the LTZ responds obediently. The LTZ's handling package is so successful that it should be standard on all Caprices. Powering the LTZ is the Caprice's standard 5-liter V8, which delivers 170 horsepower and 255 pound-feet of torque. The one thing you can't get on the LTZ is the police cruiser's 195 horsepower 5.7-liter V8. But a larger radiator and a transmission oil cooler have been added to keep powertrain temperatures lower under strenuous driving conditions. Our Caprice LTZ made a clean getaway running 0 to 60 in 9.9 .9 seconds and a quarter mile time of 17.5 seconds with a finish line speed of 79 miles per hour. On the highway, we recorded 20 miles per gallon in typical driving. EPA estimates are 17 city and 26 highway. Even more important is the fact that the LTZ's tauter suspension doesn't overly compromise highway ride. It's still very comfortable. With standard anti-lock front disc brakes and larger rear drums, the LTZ stops securely in an impressive 112 feet. Inside, there is familiar Caprice Classic styling, with again a few differences for the LTZ. Nestled in among an analog tachometer, voltmeter, temperature and oil pressure gauges, is a large digital speedometer, calibrated as it would be on a real black and white. A big, flat, but comfortable bench seat with armrest reminds us of the LTZ's call to police duty. And what's the tab for this pseudo police cruiser? Well, add only $875 for the LTZ package to the Caprice Classic's $18,470 base and you're ready to roll. The LTZ is a pleasure to drive and the six-passenger bargain of the year. But as we said before, the Caprice performs many different roles. While it takes some folks to the Hoosgau, it takes others to the airport. Now we turn our police badge in for a taxi driver's hack license. We had more people waving at us in this bright yellow Caprice than in the last fire engine red Ferrari we tested. The Caprice performs well as a taxi, sharing some of its suspension parts with the LTZ and police package, including front and rear stabilizer bars and special springs and shocks. Passengers will enjoy a comfortable ride through busy downtown traffic. And if the Naga hide seats and rubber matted floors get too trashy, a quick hosing will clean them right up. The taxi package also comes with a heavy duty cooling system, first gear lockout for longer transmission life, and a simple AM FM radio that's ideal for traffic reports. Calling this cab your own will cost a fare of $18,629, taxi light included. Our only problem with the Caprice as a police car or taxi is its shape. It's just not the square-jawed look that always meant either a radar trap or a trip uptown. Well, while shapes do change, the Chevrolet Caprice's tradition of service stubbornly remains the same.